Ladies and gentlemen, this is your humble host, Cole World James, here, welcoming you back to the amazing world of Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you guys are ready. Let's hit story, and let's continue back into this amazing game. Let's go! <laughs> I thought my thing was glitching for a second. Alright, let's get back into it, guys. <sighs> let's do this. So, guys, where we left off, we were helping Mr. Strauss and collecting some debts. We could have collected a couple debts, but eh, we missed the mark by a little bit. We can get the rest later, I think. But for now, let's just chill. I'm, I need to check if those other debts are still on the map, you know, just to make sure, because it was a decent amount of money, so. Or, or I'm also wondering if I can just go back and collect the other ones, like, later on and come back it's it's weird i just want to see what all i can do but once we get in we gotta check the map really fast and we gotta see what what's in order and what is in store so if you guys are enjoying please give your boy some love a like subscribe and share with all your friends but until then well, let's get right back into this incredible wild west world uh guys i am happy to be back second episode of the day I'm recording this late at night, like, oh, well, like, really late at night, or, well, it depends, early in the morning or late at night, so, it's, like, two, I think, so, yeah, in one second, <coughs> yep. as I said in, like, the last episode, I am a little bit sick, so if I cough, sorry about that, guys, I hope you guys don't mind too much, but, yeah, let's do it. Let's move on. So I noticed this right Hello? here. Okay. Let me check this real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my all my other stuff is still here. This mission is still right here. Mr. Thomas Downs. Albert Mason is over there. So we're going to do all that. Also, we need to read this letter we got real quick. Let's just read it real quick. Check it out. See what's happening. Yeah, I did notice this, so it was a paper, so let's read it. Auto save already contains money lending and other sins saved. Yes, auto save. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Inspect letter. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them. I suppose, at the time, but I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mary, eh? Maybe an old flame Arthur's. Hmm. Man, that's crazy. So this game is gonna get deeper, that's for sure, but... I want to check this out. I know I'm pretty sure. I just need to see some real quick. So I'm pretty sure that's hunting. Yeah, that's hunting with Charles. So this... Oh, it's a home... Yeah, yeah. It's a home robbery. I'm sorry, Charles. We'll go hunting with you later. Drinking again. Until later. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard Let's go. Javier. Down there. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. 
Let's go. Let's go take a look. <laughs> uh, if we're about to rob a house, I'm ready. This is gonna be cool. I'm excited for this. But we are in the bad right now. We're a little bit more bad than good, so we gotta we gotta start being a bit more bad, a bit more good. Also, we're missing the best thing that a cowboy needs. The hat. We're gonna wear a bear hat, but it doesn't really go with my fit right now. So let's just run Arthur's hat. Can't lead me to the house, Charles. Wait, no way. Is that Xavier? <coughs> I wonder what this is gonna be like, though. Family local boogeyman. Also, that was a that was a smooth cut transition. I like that. Tranquilo. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Let's go then. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Take me there then. Let's go. Wait, do I have everything? As if. I kind of want to do a run a stealth op, so if I have to, we're gonna have to run the uh, bow there. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, <coughs> the family's been isolated for so long they started talking in their own weird dialect. Hmm. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <laughs> That is very weird, though. Speaking in their own dialect? Hmm. Not too good business. Oh, big place, right? You got your binoculars? Equip your binoculars. Boom. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. So this could be interesting and this could be bad all at the same time. We're gonna see how this goes, but hopefully it doesn't go as bad as I think it's gonna go. Because if it goes the way I'm thinking it is, Ooh, it's about trees. to be a bad day for them. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Voices. Hmm. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Got your call for news, don't you? Cocky here can now be munching duro from the horses. Maybe you'd hunt a bit this time with mouth. Creepers, fish, don't store notions. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I has gone for ten minutes, I was. You can holly gag all the day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. That boy that just got sent to guard the shed, on God, he sounded like more here. Okay. From family Take over guy. by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump him, okay? What kind of distraction? Can I just snipe his head? No, no, no. He, he 
he'd be, he'd probably get noticed, alright. You gotta be careful with how I do this. So what kind of distractions have you about to do? Javier probably died. Yeah, he died. All right, restart from from checkpoint. All right, so so it is kind of a stealth up, but at the same time, Javier just ruins the stealth aspect. So so I'm just gonna take that one guy out with the bow headshot, and then after that, we'll what just we go from there. Javier? Okay, you take over by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump him. Okay? What kind of distraction? Let's go loot the bodies first, and then let's go look in the house. I'll be right back, Javier. I, I kind of want to loot everything, because we might just want to head back to camp after. You, you remember, like, uh, Hosea? Okay, now I remember. Hosea, like, at, on the hunting mission, he was like, Do you want to head back to camp now, Arthur? Like, I, I need to loot the rest of the area. Uh, I think it might be something like that, so, yeah. Let me just loot everything up. I gotta make sure everything is get looted. I'll help you in one second. Let me get my horse over here. Shut up, Jose. Uh, got let me. Eh. Yeah, I don't really need to. I accidentally just drank that though on accident. I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. Give me a minute. Jesus. $10. Eh. eh I'll, I'll just loot everything at the end. And I'll just probably... S I don't really mind. I'll just... I'll just go from wherever I last stand. So even if he wants to head back, I'll just be Arthur, like, yeah, I'm good. We need to find the money. Get the hell out of here. 
All right, let's go. Shut up. Let's go push. It was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <laughs> nice cut. Nice deal. Nice job. <coughs> Arthur's got a cough like me now. Let's just go up, raid the barn, see if there's anything worthwhile. And whoa, that's a lot of money. And after playing so much Red Dead Online, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a nice bit of money. Money, oh shoot, more? Oh, oh, and a jewelry bag, oh my god. My voice is just like canceling out the word, so, oh my god, a jewelry bag. Okay, I can't hit those pitches, boys. You did good with Sean. We wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rest your folks these days, Arthur. He's not lying. He really is not. Was that Javier or Charles? No, no, no. It was Javier. Yeah, it was Javier who helped me go up and save John. So legitimately, yeah, we living out here. Me and Javier over here saving people's lives. But all our other folk are getting... Kind of sluggish, you know? Medical cure. I don't have... Let me see. I need to check something. Health care. Oh. Okay. Eh. I'm maxed out on them, so I'll be fine. Uh, premium cigars. I might as well just smoke them. I don't really care. Cigars are bad for your lungs, children. But I'll still take them. Okay, we got a card. Hmm, Fawn of North America. Thing up here worthwhile? Nothing. All right. Oh, pre. Oh my God. I know what I'm saying, but uh. Smoking's bad for you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Is there anything good? Miracle tonic, I'll take that, but... Is there anything else I can have? Gun oil, thank you. Need this bourbon? Chess. Gorma rum. Alright. I think that's it for that. I don't think I missed anything, so... Yeah, I think that's it for this building. Hmm. One more quick check. Yeah, we're done, we're done. Alright, let's head back. Let's head on. Let's head on to the next journey.
Hey, Javier. Don't you have any warmer clothes? Aren't they? Eh, I'm not freezing. Oh, yeah, true. I never did loot the barn. Even though there is nothing to loot because, yeah, it's burned. Alright, so we're all the way over here. Hmm, where should we go? I kind of want to go see Hosea. Actually, let's go, let's go get these other remaining debts over here. And then we're going to go do the Hosea. I am so sorry to my horse. Oh my god, that thing just took a freaking headbutt to a stump. Like, oh my god, that had to hurt. I feel bad to the horse. Like, Jesus. That was a crushing blow in Mortal Kombat 11. My, my, I'm sorry, horse. I, I'm treating my horse badly. Oh god, I, I genuinely feel bad to my horse. Feel bad for a bad hit. We are going a, going a bit more evil though, like we're about to hit the red, which I do not want to hit, I want to go into the white. So, uh, we gotta be a bit more nice, you know? To get our nice jeans flowing out of Arthur, which is gonna be weird, because Arthur is a freaking outlaw. Big news, but hey, whatever. I need to eat some real quick. That is not smoking! I noticed my core was a little bit lower than usual, so I was just like, gotta eat a little bit. Okay, we're good. I, I like what this little fit that we're wearing. I don't, I don't really, I don't really see anything too bad. It looks nice. I enjoy it. Nice little fit. All right. But yeah, let's go collect all these debts so that we will be stacked for the next episode. Because the next episode, I just want to get the debt mission out of the way. Which is the LS on the map, because I think that's our final death mission. Horse, bro! Who the frick just messed with our horse, bro? I think he's dead, by the way. Get going, boy. <laughs> your, your, your person's dead, I'm sorry. To say, but, uh, yeah, he, uh, accidentally got freaking flipped over when he crashed into my freaking horse. Like, rag I'm, I'm sorry to say, Red Dead is an amazing game. 10 out of 10, but... I just realized something. Let, let's go do this. This is really close. Just get it out of the way. I am interested in it. It might be a little bit of a deep dive in Arthur's past. And like I said, it is an old spark of Arthur's, because she did say that, that he loved her, so... Let, let's go see what happens. Let's go visit this Mary Linton. Let's go and see who she truly is. Mm. Nice little building. We once, we loved once and true. Yes? I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Dang, Hello, Arthur. Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and come here looking for me is that it no ain't like that arthur oh, okay listen arthur i i'm my family i need your help you mean the family that always looked down on me you want me to help 
It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Ah, uh, fine. Help Barry. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back. Arthur, if you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. I feel bad for Arthur. He, I can tell he got had his heart broken by that woman. I feel bad for my boy, Arthur. You can hold this L for me. All right, let's go do this mission. Get out of the way. Seems like an interesting one. And I am, and I am hooked to it already, because I do, the history behind Miss Linton and Arthur is interesting. So I'm guessing what happened was the family hated him because my man was a bit too rough, and they didn't want, want him to marry her. They thought maybe he was just like a poor swine or something. And I guess they made her marry this like rich dude or something. But I do feel bad for Arthur though, because Arthur... He's a good man. At least to Arthur Warecrafting. He's a good man. And he is trying to go on the path of redemption. Ah, but... I feel bad. He... Heartbreak is one of the worst things he can face. And my man Arthur, he may have been shot multiple times with a freaking bullet. By some bounty hunters, but... You can't... You can fix a couple bullet wounds. At least in Red Dead you can. You can fix a couple bullet wounds and heal your body. But you can never heal the heart. What the oof? You better shut you just had to get Oh my god, why is why is getting a hold of horses so much harder now? No, oh my god, this horse is about to run off. My horse, I am sorry. What is up with trees today, bro? Freaking trees. I should title this I should title this freaking episode trees. God dang, trees, bro. Trees. Freaking hate trees. Even though they give me oxygen over here. Calm it down. Bruh, how am I gonna to calm down this horse? Calm down. Do you approach it slow?
because my stamina is just going to get drained. Remove the stranger. There we go. I thought I was about to get kicked in the face, bro. I was literally worried for a second. Please. I'm trying to cut her free, bruh. My gosh, calm down, game. Bro, I just got bad honor for that just because I tried to cut her free. While well, I was trying at the same time, I'm not even doing stuff. Yep. And it makes me have bad honor. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Ah, man. I feel bad for my man, Arthur. Yeah, let's go take care of this mission already. I'm, I'm bored. I'm bored of get of hitting trees. Oh god. Oh god, I'm about to say. That tree got really close. And I'm literally about to skim the side of my face on it. Let me get some redemption. This game's been so mean to me. Help a blind man. Yeah, sure, here. There you go, mate. I have five hundred twenty-four dollars, so don't make anything. Your final moments, your best moments, sir. No glory, and forget about shame. Uh, sure. Okay, Mister. <laughs> All the best now. I feel like that is some weird. Foreshadowing. Yeah. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. It's a lot of foreshadowing. <laughs> so, I think we're traveling up the mountain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we must definitely run out. Okay, I see what the route is. Mission blip covering a large area have to be searched for. I'm just gonna follow this path. It did say they were up in the mountains, or all the rancher at least saw them up there. Near the mountains. Or near this area, so. And I'm just gonna follow my trail, see where it leads me, and go where I go. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down my horse so I can keep my stamina. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Well, I don't want to be too mean or impatient, and patience is always rewarded, so let's just go with their crap. <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Purpose. I don't know. <laughs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. 
But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh my god. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Uh, we really got to chase this kid around. Let's go. Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! This is none of your damn business! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. I just love how this game just has to have everything still continuing on. We're just going throughout the world and everything's just still happening as it was. That's cool to me, that really is. Just stop and let's talk about this! You pop up out of nowhere? My horse's stamina got drained quick. Can't I just For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute! I was doing just fine by myself! Come on, you ain't stupid! You can see this is crazy! You're the crazy one! Yeah. My gosh, how far... Oh my god, we really gotta chase this boy around. Come on, Jamie. I thought it would block him. Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! <laughs> leave me alone! Please. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just oh calm my God. down. Leave me alone. Are too lightly. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Man, well, so we really just have to use those quick draw how skills. I today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though. Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. 
with the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? And Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Yeah, yeah, let's pitch songs. up our horse. We must go and meet Miss Linton. It was interesting learning about Jamie, though. So, Make it I was, I, I was right. Yeah. I was right. So it's like the father really hated hated Arthur, and that really led to led to the downfall of the relationship. I'm about to just climb. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please! You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home. For you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Hmm. Man, I feel bad for Arthur. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Mm. I do feel bad for Arthur, though. You can tell... He did love her once. Actually, no, he still loves her. But, I feel bad for him. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna have to pause the episode here. And after that, I know who exactly is over there. That's our boy. But, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And I hope you guys are loving these episodes of Red Dead like I am. I am having a, f a lot of fun coming back and playing the game. And I'm happy to experience the rest of it with you guys. But... Ladies and gentlemen, this is your humble host, Cold World James here, signing out. I love you guys, and until then, au revoir, and peace. Later.